Initially, I didn't know anything was wrong. I just thought it was joint pain. Roger began to worry that I needed to see a doctor and he said, you've got to go to the doctor. And then that night, after I went to the doctor, she did some blood work while I was there. And that night at about 9.30, she called up and said, you have to go to the emergency room right now. Your blood work came back at high levels. And when I got there and they did more tests, they said, there's something wrong with your kidneys. After I was at the local hospital for um, almost a week and I wasn't getting better, we knew that the doctor that they were talking to it was at Mass General. He was number one in the field. We decided that that's where we should be. As soon as they said my kidneys were failing, they said, you're probably gonna need a transplant. At Mass General, we're very accustomed to taking care of complex cases like Mary's case, and they're often referred to us from all over the country, all over the world. There's no kidney transplantation case that's routine. Kidney donors are precious. Whether the donor organ is a deceased donor or a live donor, that organ is precious, and every transplant needs to be handled. It was a special transplant in multiple aspects. Number one, it was a perfectly matched kidney, so uh, Marianne received uh, the 3,000 kidney transplant at MGH, but also uh, received a perfect match kidney, which gives her an advantage that her kidney will likely survive longer. This transplant happened to a patient who many of the team members knew. Marianne was in charge of the nursing education program at Northeastern University. Even some of the coordinators who've taken care of her uh, while she was on the list, who received their nursing degree at Northeastern, knew her as a teacher. The things that the MGH is known for, in addition to the, all the basic, humane, and uh, essential characteristics of caring for a patient, in addition to that, it's the induction of tolerance and it's the control of immune reactions by means of these uh, antibodies. We now use monoclonal antibodies. Dr. Russell is uh, just a, uh, an amazing individual, he's the foundation of our program, the founder of our program, and despite all his years uh, uh, in the field, he remains incredibly involved and interested and holds weekly grand rounds, which we, which we refer to as Russell rounds. And they're important because they give the opportunity uh, for all of us to get together as a team and discuss the patients that we're taking care of and reflect on and learn from each other's experience. It's incredibly rewarding to work in kidney transplantation. Most nephrologists have a lot of experience with dialysis where we see patients get worse over time. Kidney transplantation performed and you see patients get better. They come in eating more, their color looks better, they have more strength, they return to work, they return to hobbies. It's incredibly rewarding. It was so remarkable for me that the, our colleagues here have now come to the 3,000th uh, kidney transplant. And there was a patient, lovely woman, who was benefiting from what has been done over these years with a new life and a big smile on her face. Mass General, I think it's great. I think everything that happened to me there um, was positive and they saved my life. If you're in a situation where you're not sure where your health is going to go, then you need to go to the best place you can. When we experienced the care and the results from Mass General, we knew that we had received something far beyond what we could have ever imagined. It was incredible. We feel very grateful.